what Yellowstone National Park was like before it became a wonderland. Yellowstone has been the site of constant volcanic activity for two million years. But what was it like before the volcanoes started erupting? The Yellowstone region today is a wonderland, filled with spectacular geysers and colorful hot springs, home to lakes, meadows, mountains and valleys, and covered in forests and grasslands. What we see today is the result of volcanic activity that has shaped the landscape over the past two million years. But what was Yellowstone like before volcanic activity created several large craters in the region and covered much of the land with thick lava flows and ash? What was Yellowstone like before it became a wonderland? To understand the answer to this question, geologists have looked at the characteristics of the area bordering the Yellowstone region, the mountain ranges, rock types and faults that form areas like the Tetons and Jackson Hole as well as the Gallatin and Paradise Valleys. About four to seven million years ago, the Yellowstone hotspot was located beneath southeastern Idaho, triggering eruptions that occurred from the high sea volcanic field. The sequence includes several large calderas that formed through massive explosions, spreading ash across the landscape, including Jackson Hole and the area that is now Yellowstone. The pre-volcanic Yellowstone landscape was mostly a plateau, there was no basin as there is today. Instead, mountains running mostly north-northwest to south-southeast ran across the region. The present-day Gallatin and Madison Mountains to the north probably connected to the Teton and other ranges to the south, forming a continuous chain of mountains all bounded by major faults. Fault-bounded mountain ranges like this are found throughout the western U.S. today, part of the Basin and Range Province, which stretches from eastern California to western Wyoming and Montana. We can see evidence for these previously continuous mountain ranges in earthquake patterns and eruptive vents. Seismicity maps show several bands of earthquakes running north-northwest to south-southeast beneath the Yellowstone caldera possibly representing the still existing faults that controlled the mountains that were blown apart when the major explosive eruptions began in the Yellowstone region. There are also several roughly NW to SSE vent alignments for rhyolite lava flows that erupted after the Yellowstone caldera formed, especially during about 160,000 to 70,000 years ago. Like earthquake patterns, vent alignments may also have been controlled by pre-existing faults associated with the mountain range that was destroyed. 